morning. Good number this morning. Appreciate all that's here. And uh, appreciate the presence of the Lord this morning. Amen. 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 I can't do this thing without it. I wouldn't dare try, Brother Mike. I wouldn't try to do it uh, without the Lord. And uh, I'm so thankful today for the blessings that he's laid upon the table of a fresh start here. Uh, haven't been here very long, but boy, God's been blessing, and he's Amen. doing a marvelous work. And uh, we have us a, a holiday coming up, and it's a, a Thanksgiving. And it's very appropriate that we take this time and, and begin to thank the Lord for some things that he's done for us. So Amen. if you would, turn with me in your Bibles to uh, the 105th Psalm, Psalms 105. And we're going to do a little preaching this morning uh, on being thankful uh, for what God has done. Amen. 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 But God's so good. He's good to me and he's good to you. Uh, even in the bad times, God's still good. That's right. He's still God. Amen. Amen. And, uh, some people say, well, I don't know when God's going to uh, uh, take over and, and, and get all these things worked out. Well, it's all going to be in his time. Amen. Amen. He, and when he does it, remember this, that it's going to be right on time. Amen. Amen. He's never slacking concerning anything that he does. He's always right on time. You see, uh, we would that, that those that are ready and that prepared for uh, going home with the Lord, we would that God would come on. But you know what? That's a little bit selfish because there are still some uh, that are not prepared and ready. And Father is doing all he can Amen. to outstretch his hand Amen. and that to invite them to come to know him Amen. while there's still time, Amen. Why grace is still upon the earth, Amen. Why God's hands is still trying to work in the people. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we, we, we get a little selfish sometimes. We're ready, ready to go and, and want to go on, but uh, we've got to wait. We see that God's good like that. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Psalms 105. Verse number one. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the people. I want to take and dissect that just a little bit today. We're going to read on down in quite a quiet ways this morning, but I want to take a moment and uh, uh, and take that first little part of the verse. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. I want to ask you this morning, how long has it been since you give God thanks? Amen. 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 I'm talking about truly sitting down and Amen. saying, uh, Lord, I don't want anything. Yes, I just want to thank you today Amen. about what Amen. you've done for me. I don't want nothing, Father. I, I'm not coming to you like an ATM. And I, I'm not going to use you like a spare tire. And I'm not going to try and uh, just knock on your door and ship your way. I just want to tell you, Father, I thank you for what you've done. Friends, I want to say that God's been good. God's been good to you and I, amen, amen in this day that we're living in, amen. as the evil is abound, as we know, and how that we see that man is trying his best in that to deceive people. Father's got his hand on this little church, amen, amen. and I thank him for that, amen. amen. I thank him that he has control over this amen. church. I, I am nothing amen. more uh, than amen. the mailman, amen, amen. and I want to be plain in that today. I am nothing, amen, without the Father. Amen. And I'm thanking him today Amen. for what he has given you and I. Amen. He's given us wisdom to understand that. Amen. Amen. He's given us discernment and that to know whether or not that he is here or not. Amen. Right. If we will reckon and take a moment and say that the wisdom that we have gained and the knowledge that we have gained for the few months that we have been here and the opportunity opportunity that we have had to teach and preach with liberty, amen, amen. with amen. liberty, without any hindrance, and amen. being able to do what God would want us to do. Friend, I give him thanks for that, amen. 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 I'm telling you, I've been in this thing for amen. a while, and, and I've seen where there's not been liberty, amen. amen. I've seen where there's not been an opportunity for man to be able to teach the Word of God amen. in the amen. fullness thereof, and, and do what God wants us to do, amen. amen. And I praise him today, and, and thank him for the liberty that we we've got. Amen. 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 Here at Fresh Start, here to know the true word of Amen. God Amen. and not be ashamed of it. He said, Romans 1, 16, be ye not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. He said, for it is the salvation unto the Greek and unto the Jew also. Amen. We know today that God is willing and that to help all of his children. Amen. Sometimes we need to slow down Amen. and give God thanks. Yes. Amen. Amen. Oh, there's a lot to thank him about. Amen. 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 Some more. There's a lot to thank him for. Yeah. Amen. I got a good home. Yeah. I've got good family members. Amen. Amen. I've got good Christian folk that love me and pray for me. Amen. You know what it means to be prayed for, amen. amen. You know what it means for somebody to lift your name up to the Lord. 
Lord. Yeah. When they take and call upon the Lord and say your name to Him, yeah. you know what that really means? Is that they love you and are concerned oh, about amen, you. Amen. Brother. They're concerned about what you're going through. Amen. They're concerned about how you're feeling. They're yeah. concerned about what's going on in your life. Amen. Yeah. And where there is no division and where there's no uh, a separation, but yet unity and love and amen. glory. Amen. amen. That's what Father wants. Yes. That's what He needs. Yes. That's what he wants to hear from his children. That's right. Thankful. I'm so thankful today Amen. for what God is able to do. Yeah. Man thinks he can do so much. Yeah. Man thinks he's got it all figured out. Man thinks as if he's got it all straightened out. But friend, I'm telling you today, if it wasn't for the glorious hand of our Father, if it wasn't for the works of our Father today, this world would go to hell in a handbasket. Amen? Amen. Amen? This nation that you and I live in is a blessed nation. It's blessed for a reason. Because God laid his hand upon Abraham. And he delivered it unto Isaac and on down to Jacob and the twelve patriarchs and gave it unto them. And friend, because of what he gave to them, you and I are blessed today. Amen? Amen. And that's the only reason, praise God, because God has his hand in it. Amen, brother. I'm so thankful today that God's still in control. Amen? I'm so thankful. Brother Mike, you turn that on for me, please? I'm so thankful that God's in control. I don't want man to control my life. You see, as we were talking in the Sunday school hour, we were talking about the four hidden dynasties of the world. How that these things control our lives and how that we are controlled in all sorts of things and in our economics and in our education and, and in our, uh, uh, our religion and in our politics. Friends, we're controlled in every aspect uh, that a man can be controlled in. We are taxed to death and controlled and told what to do, when to do it, and how to do it, and how long to do it. Amen. But praise be unto God one day. Our Father, will rule this this kingdom. Amen? Amen. Our Father has a desire in that to take care of you and I. And if we allow the world to uh, come in and creep into our lives and control us, that's our own fault. Amen? Amen. God's made it a way for you and I to have liberty. Amen. 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 <clears throat> he said in his prayer, he said, that thou will be done. Amen. On earth as it is in heaven. Amen. Give us this day our daily bread, Father. What is your daily bread? The word of God. Amen, brother. Give us this day our daily bread. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the power and the glory forever. And that's it. Amen. Yeah. Thankful for that today. Yes, sir. God's in control. Yes, sir. I'm thankful that God's in control and He's got it all figured out. Amen. Mm -hmm. Going on into that verse, He said, Call upon His name. Oh, glory. Amen. You know, there's power when you call into the name of God. When you call on Him and you ask Him, when you're over there at that ICU room, yes. and you call upon God and you ask Him, you say, Father, can you intervene? Can you help out just for just a little while? Can you intervene? And God comes in, friends, and the doctors say, I have no idea how these things worked out, but it's yeah. worked out. And I know yeah. how it works yeah. out, yeah. amen? And you give God the glory, yeah. and you give God the honor. Yeah. And when you call upon the name of the Lord, yeah. God is there on time, amen? Yeah, right, right. Because he loves his children. Yes. Amen. He loves you enough and that's a gift to you. Yeah. Why are we celebrating a time of thanksgiving? Because God is so good to us. Amen. He is so good. And he gives us what we have need of. Not what I want. I don't want what I want. Amen. I'm not, I, I don't have control over what I want. That what I want is the flesh things, you see. I want what I need, Father. Yeah. I want more of your wisdom. Amen. I want more of your wisdom to be able to discern from right and wrong. I want more of your wisdom to be able to get into your word and, and understand what it is that I need to teach and to preach and, and to learn, amen. You see, this is a learning process just as much as it is for you as it is for me. Why is that? Because I call upon the name of the Lord. I call upon his name when we study out the word of God. And friends, you think you can do this thing on your own? You're badly mistaken. Amen, brother. 
You don't call upon the Lord every day. I'm talking about every time the sun comes up. You should call upon the name of the Lord. Amen. You should call upon Him and say, Father, here I am one more day. Amen. I'm here one more day. And I thank you for that opportunity, yes. Father. I thank you for one more day. You're going to send me out in the world and maybe be a testimony unto you. Not to glorify myself, but that they may glorify you, Father. That's right. They may see something in you that glorifies the Lord. Amen. That's what it's all about, guys. It's about giving honor unto Him. Yes. Every hour of the day to give honor unto God. Amen. Men come by and say, boy, I don't know how in the world you figure that out. I don't know how in the world you build that big old structure. And I'm thinking to myself, it's not me, friends. It's because I call upon the name of the Lord and it gives me understanding. It gives me wisdom. Father will use you uh, if you call upon him. Amen. You're sitting in the world of do nothing because you don't call upon the name of the Lord. Amen. 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 Have no one to blame but yourself. Amen. 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 Well, where that came from, but that's, it didn't cost Amen. you anything. Amen. Amen. <laughs> I'm telling you today that if you call upon God and ask him for some wisdom in your life, you wouldn't be wallowing around in the problems that we dwell around oh, in today. Man. We wouldn't have near the situations in this Pray. world if we would Pray. sit down and call upon the name of the Lord. Amen. When I was a child, we went over to the schoolhouse, and before the time of the bell rang, we answered and talked to God in private, amen. We prayed unto God, and they took that thing away from the school. And the children today have no understanding who the world we're even talking to when we say we call unto the name of the Lord. Amen, have no idea what we're saying. Our children are ignorant today, have no understanding about what comes. The Bible says that every good gift and every perfect gift comes from above. Amen. If you got a good gift today, you need to give God thanks. Yes, Amen. Amen. You need to thank Him today that He's been good to you. Amen. Back when this nation was founded, many years ago, these Indians came around and, and the pilgrims came together and they brought piles of, of different kinds of fruits and vegetables and, and it was an abundance of because of what God had done. Amen. He was gracious to them. He was good to them. And he gave to them what they needed. Has God been good to you today? Yes. Hey. Amen. Hey. Let me try that one more time. Amen. Has God been good to you? Yes. Amen. Hey. He's been good to me. Amen. Hey. I'm telling you he's been good. Hey. He's been better to me than I've been to myself. Amen. 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 Thank you, God. I love him. All you got to do is call upon his name. Amen. He said, listen to me. Listen to me really good. He said, you have not because you have not. not. Amen. Amen. That's plain and simple. Amen. This is a nose on your face. You have not because you've asked not. That's right. Now, it, be sure that you don't ask in a miss. Yep. Be sure that you don't ask for something that's too large and that for you to even help and, and, and control and to do with. Amen. Be simple in your thoughts. Be simple in your prayers. Be a simple person. And God will bless you. Amen. Call upon the name of the Lord. I hope it's a practice that you use every day. I hope here at Fresh Start we've instilled that in you, that you practice that every yes. day. Amen. You know, it's dangerous to even get in a vehicle nowadays right. and go Amen. up and down the road. Right. If you don't call upon the name of the Lord before right. you get in that vehicle, yeah. friend, you're liable to be taken out. Amen. Amen. Right. I'm telling you, it's not even safe for a woman to go out from the uh, the shopping center anymore and go up right. and buy her own groceries right. without some kind of a thug want to take her purse and take what she has anymore. Amen. Right. Leave the house, leave the security of your own home. You need to call upon the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. You think that's foolishness, no, no. friend. That's protection. Amen, that's, right. that's calling upon God to protect Amen. you. Amen. Amen. God's good like that. Amen. 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 He'll do it. Oh, you say, well, God put angels around us. <laughs> Amen, brother. <laughs> you wait till we get into heaven. We'll go up there and we'll ask that servant of Elisha. We'll ask him how many servants and how many angels were capped in the sky around them. You see, they were scared to death. Yeah. But Elisha knew exactly that God had it in control. They were running and hiding and, and that from the army. There were only two of them at the time. And, and he was concerned. He said, that there's so many of them and there's only two of us. And Elisha said unto him, he said, Father, open up his eyes that he may see. And Father rolled back the skies and seen that there was a host of angels Amen. camped around them. Amen. God's got protection for you. Amen. If you're in God's will. You wonder why things come your way. Are you in the will of the Lord today? 
We need to be in God's will. We need right. to be in control of Amen. our destiny. Amen. We can do that by asking Father and that to control our life. Amen. Amen. Latter part of that verse, make known his deeds among the people. When was the last time you told somebody what God done for you? When was the last time you boasted about what God has done for you? Has God been good to you? Say amen. 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 You need to tell somebody. Amen. Need to go out and tell the deeds about what God. Boy, I can tell you all kinds of stories about my lifestyle. Amen. How I used to be and how I am no more like that. Amen. I'll be glad to tell you. Amen. What God has done for me. Amen. What God has given me in my home. I'm not ashamed of it, amen. Amen, amen, thank you, Lord. I'm glad to know that God's in control and he, he takes care of me. And I am a living proof of that God can take nothing and make something from it, amen. Yeah. Yes. He's good like that. Amen. amen. Just like how he spoke this world into existence. Amen. He didn't have a bunch of chemicals to mix together and, and make a concoction and groove it all together and to make something. God spoke it, amen, amen. and it came about. Amen, brother. He can do that kind of thing, yes. you see. That's why I worship him. Amen. That's why I give him all that I've got, amen. amen. That's why I pour myself out empty every opportunity I can, and amen. that's to give it unto the Lord. Yes. Amen. Have you taken a moment and talked about the deeds among the people? Have you talked about how good God's been to you? And not only how good he's been, but what he has in store for you and I. Amen. The Bible said, neither has it entered into the hearts of the minds of the people what God has in store for you and I. I love that kind of thing, friends. It keeps me wanting. Amen. It keeps me in drive. Amen. Wanting and that to do more for God. Yes. You can't go wrong working for the Lord. This vineyard that we're working in, friends, you can't go wrong plowing for the Lord. You can't go wrong tilling the ground for God. Man. Friend, it's a lovely, lovely thing to do for the Lord. Amen. And there's Amen. such reward. The Bible talks about how it covers a multitude of sins Amen. when you do the will of the Lord. I believe some of us could use kind of thing like that. Amen. Amen. If we could take and just do something for God every now and again. Yes. How good he's been to you. How good he's been to me. Amen. How we could turn that favor unto the Father. Amen. You see, he's your Father. Amen. He's just not your God. No. He's your Father. Amen. 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 And you should love him like a Father. Amen. You should talk to him like a Father. Amen. 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 You should take and take a minute out and just say, you know, I'm by myself. And I, I'm just going to take a minute and talk to you, Lord. Amen. Amen. How you go about doing that, Brother Randall? You talk to him just like you would anybody else. That's right. Amen. He has feelings just like you and I do. That's right. If you hurt his feelings, friend, he's going to let you know. But when you're good, when you give God what he deserves, God is blessed. He'll bless you and pour out a blessing upon you, friends. Right. The Bible says that you can't even contain. That's right. Thank you, Lord. He'll fill up the room for you. Amen. Amen. You'll be overran with, with blessings. See, Amen. the Father knows exactly who he can give blessings to and who he can't. Yeah. Now, some people take advantage of that kind of thing. Yeah. They take advantage of it. They get on the good side. They get everything happening for them. Before you know it, they fall by the wayside. Yeah. Friends, when God's working in your life and he's straightening out like an old piece of war, that good old straightened out praise, and getting you where he can work with you, uh, you need to take a moment and thank God that he's got you where he's got you. Right. Amen. And you need to realize that God's in control. Amen, brother. He's able enough to do that today. Amen. 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 I'm thankful. Amen. I'm so thankful that God's in control. Amen. Amen. Verse number two. Sing unto him. Sing psalms unto him. Talk ye of all his wondrous works. <laughs> Amen. You see, that mind, my mind goes straight to the scriptures. It goes to Deuteronomy 32. When it says, sing unto him, sing psalms unto him, knowing that what God is going to do for you and I. You see, the elect of God, God is going to protect you and I. He, he said, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a seal on your forehead. And that seal is going to protect you in that day's coming when the Antichrist comes. 
If you got enough common sense to know that the first Jesus that comes uh, is a liar and he's not the real one, then friends, you are blessed among people. And Father gives that to you, amen? amen. He seals your mind and protects you through those hard times, through those days that's going to come, amen? amen? And Father's got you in his wing, amen? amen? He's got you right where he needs you. Amen. But see, it takes your participation to get to that place in your life. It takes your participation <laughs> to be able to get to the place where God can protect you and seal your minds. We have to have an open mind to the Word of God and have God's Spirit upon us. You see, now that all goes right back to the blood, does it not? Yes. If we don't accept Christ as our personal Savior and live for our Savior, then God cannot work through you and I. Neither can He teach you and I. Neither can He seal your mind. So it's important to know that first we must be what? Saved by the grace of God. We must be saved to the uttermost. And then knowing that God will work through you and I. He'll help us. Amen. Talk ye of all his wondrous works. Well, I've done hit on that already. But I tell you, I can't get over God's works. You see, Father's got a way for all of us to escape the wrath of God. You see, we're not appointed unto wrath, but unto salvation. So therefore, we know, and the, and the world's like, well, uh, uh, three and a half years of tribulation and all these things are going to come upon the world, and, and we know that all this stuff's going to happen. And, and, well, not to those that are gods. Not to those who have the seal of God in their forehead. Amen. Amen. What is that seal of God, Brother Renner, you're talking about? Knowledge. It's the Word of God. Yes. That's all it is. Having knowledge and understanding about God's Word and preparing yourself for that coming day. If you've got a little of it, friends, you're going to go a long way. Amen. 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 It'll help you. Yes. Verse 3. Glory ye in his holy name. Let the heart of them rejoice that seek the Lord. <laughs> you know what his holy name is? Yahweh. That's his holy name. And when you speak to Yahweh, you're speaking to God directly. Amen? Amen? You're speaking to the creator of not only this world, but the one that created your spirit Amen. inside of you. He said here, glory ye in his name. To glory in the name of Yahweh is to give him honor for everything that's happened. Amen. Everything that's come down the pike in your life. Some people would say, well, I don't know about all these things that's come down my way. Boy, there's been a lot of grief in my life. There's been a lot of hardship, a lot of things, Will. How much honor have you given unto God? I've never seen a person that loves the Lord and has given God all that they could possibly give uh, sit back and say that God hasn't been good to them. Amen? Amen. It don't work that way. Amen. Two-way street. Amen. You give unto God, God give to you. Right. You want to be selfish and run your own life? God said that's fine. Yeah. You do that what you want to. Right. Amen. But when you give honor unto the name of Yahweh, the God of all mankind, friend, there's something to be said when you give him honor. Amen. And you give him glory. Amen. And you give him the reins to run your life. Amen? Amen. You give him the reins. And you take second seat. Yep. Say, Father, I can't do it without you. I can't do it without you. Amen. There's no way I want to run my life. Amen. There's no way that I want to be in control of this thing. <laughs> God, he knows way ahead before you and I ever thought about things. Right. Yep. He knows all the paths that you and I are going to have to go through. He goes through there, Brother Bob, and he clears out not the big old boulders, but even the small gravels that's in our way as we may stumble at times. Right. God's good. Amen. All the He's time. good. He's good to you. Amen. Amen. It's good to me. Amen. Yes. Verse 4. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face evermore. Evermore. Have you ever gotten down in prayer before? And I mean being real earnest in prayer. And, 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 and get to where you're trying to seek the face of God. I'm talking about in agony and trying to pray in a deep prayer. Friends, you talking about getting close to God. 
You're talking about getting close to the Lord when your heart is heavy and you don't have any way to turn. You don't have the, can't take the advice of Job's friends uh, and you can't take the advice of the wife and you can't take advice of this one or that one, but you call upon the name of the Lord. You call upon God and let God be in control. Amen. That's seeking the face of God. Sir. That's having wisdom and discernment. Understanding that God's in control. Amen. Verse 5. Remember his marvelous works that he hath done, his wonders and the judgments of his mouth. Remembering his marvelous works that he has done. You see, through conception, just as soon as that embryo is conceived, God takes the Spirit and sends it from the glories of heaven right down into that child at that very moment. He takes that glorious, beautiful child and that spirit and sends it straight to the one that it needs to go to. Amen? That's his marvelous works. How God had taken, and he had all of us housed in a first earth age once before. And how we all worked harmoniously until Slewfoot came up and tried to take the mercy seat. And then Father brought us all back where we could all be protected. And then he made this dispensation of time. He destroyed all the things that were before so that it wouldn't be in our remembrance. That's the marvelous works of God. That's how God works, you see. He's always God in concern for his children. He's always got you in his best interest. He's always God protecting you in everything that is done. Amen. You see, Father Amen. has wiped it from our memory for a reason, so that we would not have to concern ourselves about what was, but more or less pay more attention to what is. Do you understand that? God is so good in his marvelous Amen. works. And that simple plan of salvation that he made for you and I, you see, the Bible says that without the shedding of blood, that there is no remission of sins. So he brought from the portals of heaven his only begotten son, come down in the flesh and dwell among you and I, and became that perpetuation for sin, became that precious lamb of God, slain by mankind, and that precious blood that was slain covers a multitude of sins. That's the works of God. Amen, brother. That's the works of my father. Amen. Yes, Amen. I can't praise him enough today. Right. He's so good. Amen, brother. He's so good. Amen. I'm so thankful I'm in his will, aren't you? Amen. 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 You should shout right there. Amen. I am so thankful that Amen. I'm in the will of God yes, today. Sir. You are sons and not bastards. God's got you in his will. He loves you. Amen. He loves you with an unconditional love. I do wrong. I know I do wrong. And I'd ask my mom, I said, Mom, do you love me? She said, Yeah, I love you, but I just don't like you right now. Amen. <laughs> I love you, but I just don't like you right now. Yeah. And that made me feel a little bit better. <laughs> you see, you know how that works? You can kind of feel a little bit better about it because you love me, but she didn't like what I was doing. Father's the same way. He loves you. And he's concerned about your life. That's right, he's concerned about everything that's going on in your life. Amen. He may not like what you do all the time, but he loves you. Amen. And he would that you'd come to him. Come to him. Repent of our ways and seek the Lord. We're not getting no younger. Amen. 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 We're getting closer to the coming of the Lord every day. Amen. So therefore, we need to prepare ourselves to spend eternity with him. And not to be blotted out. No one wants to be blotted out. Amen. Amen. Keeping your name in the Lamb's Book of Life. That's where it's at. Amen. O oh, ye seed of Abraham, his servants, ye children of Jacob, his chosen, 
Who's he talking about? He's talking about you and I. What's he saying here? That you're a chosen people. You are chosen because God chose you. He chose you. You should be very thankful that God has chosen you to be in this tribe. The tribes that God has set aside. We are can-do people. And God knows it. That's why he has given unto you and I all that we need. He's given to you and I every tool that we have need of. And that's why he wrote the word of God. To help us. Verse 7. He is the Lord our God. His judgments are in all the earth. Verse 8. He hath remembered his covenant forever. The word which he commanded to a thousand generations. I want you to dwell on that for just a minute. We're going to come to a close. He says here, he has remembered his covenant. You know what the covenant is? Does anybody got an idea of what the covenant is? It's all 66 books of this right here. It's a promise that God has made to you and I. It's a covenant that he has wrote to you and I and given it to you and I to understand. The word which he commanded to a thousand generations. What's that mean, Brother Randall? Well, let's take it from here. Let's say from Abraham to Christ Jesus was 40 generations. From Christ Jesus to now is around 40 generations. So 40 and 40 is only 80. But he said here uh, that uh, he which he commanded to a thousand generations. So that takes us on in to the millennial and past, amen. God's commandments and his word, his covenant, will last forever, amen. is what he's saying. Amen. It's not going to change. God said, I change not. I am the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. I change not. Amen, brother. Amen. I'm so glad that God doesn't change. That's right. I've had friends in my life that changed. I've had loved ones that have changed. I've seen co-workers that on the fly just change. But God never changes. Right. He's still God. Amen. And he still loves you. And he's still in control. His love is from everlasting to everlasting. Amen. I want to say today that God has been so good to me and my family. He's been good to give us what we have need of. Amen. He's blessed us with a home and with children. Amen. And with not only just children, but with grandchildren. Amen. What a blessing that is. Amen. Amen. At this time, we're going to have us a dedication service. We're going to dedicate Carly unto the Lord. Carly, Renee, Cheetah is this baby's name. And while we do this, I want uh, Corey and Kelsey to come forward. I want you to sit down right here with this baby. I want you to turn your Bibles with me to Psalm 127. <laughs> Being thankful today about what God has given you and I, and what he has done. I want you to take for just a moment and listen to what the psalmist says here in Psalms 127. Verse number three. Lo, children are an heritage of the Lord. And the fruit of the womb is his reward. Do you all understand that? The fruit of the womb is the reward that God has given to you. 
Verse 4, as arrows are in the hand of a mighty man, so are children of the youth. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that beautiful to know that God lends these children to you and I? You see, these children aren't ours to say. Although this is my son, he belongs to God. Amen. Although this is their daughter, this child belongs to God. He lends them to you and I. And he sees how, wants to see how we'll be stewards Amen. with these children. Verse 5, happy is the man that hath his quiver full of them. They shall not be ashamed, but they shall speak with the enemies in the gate. God will bless families and give you loved ones and do as he sees fit. I know there's people today that say, you know, I've not ever had a child. And maybe that's, uh, maybe I, I, I'm not blessed of God. Don't you ever take it like that. Don't you ever take it that way. God's got a special plan. And his plan is to do his will. You see, God's ways are a whole lot higher than mine and yours. Right. Amen. Amen. I cannot give answer for why what God does and how he does it. Right. All I know is that we be thankful for what God has given to you and I. Amen. Amen. Proverbs 17. Verse number six. Children's children are the crown of old men, and the glory of children are their fathers. You see, they didn't have a word back then for grandchildren. So here he's saying that children's children, so that's this boy's child to me, are the crown of old men. What a blessing that is, Brother Mike. Yes, sir. To know that what I have done can bring life to another. Amen. Amen. And don't you ever think, if it ever gets to a point where I can, I'm going to teach that baby. Amen. Amen. I'm going to teach you the Word of God. Amen. Who knows? If God tarries long enough, this child I would be a prophetess. Who knows? That's right. Amen. And that's to teach the Word of God herself. God's so good. Oh, he wants to give to you and I. Jeremiah, verse 1, or excuse me, Jeremiah chapter 1 and verse 5. He's told you and I what he would do for you and I. He said, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. Amen. You see, Father knew this baby. Way before it ever came down in that to be in this home. He knew this child. But yet he has given it to us to father and to mother and to be uh, parents and to be grandparents and to be teachers and protectors of them. He said, and before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. You see, now he's talking to Jeremiah, the prophet here. But see, this same concept can go to you and I. See, he knew us way before. How did he know this child? You see, God knows all things. Not only that, God makes all things. And not only that, this child was around in the first earth age. Do you see that? Amen. The Bible says that you must be born again. Born of water and of flesh. And then that of the spirit. You see, God sends that spirit down into the womb of the woman. And it is encapsulated with water. There is your concept of being born again. Amen. This child has been born again. Born into a creation. Now, we're not too awful happy about the dispensation that we're in. Why? Because we know this is an evil day. But if we keep our home sanctified, and we keep our hearts pure unto God, and we know that God's in control, friends, we've got it made. Amen? Amen. We've got it made. One more verse. Jeremiah 29 and 11. 
He said, for I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an accepted end. God said, I know what I have in store for you. He has a blessing in store for this child. He has a blessing in store for every one. If you'll follow his leadership right. Amen. and do what God asks you to do. I want all the church to come up this morning. I want us all to come up and I want you to pray. Pray that God's will be done in this baby's life. I want to dedicate this child unto the Lord. Amen. Let God know exactly how we feel about this baby and about what we know as adults what this child is going to go through. I want you to pray this morning that God's will be done in its life and that these two parents be the stewards that they need to be and always bringing up this child in the admiration of the Lord, doing exactly what God wants them to do. Most of all, we pray for her safety. We pray that salvation comes to this child. If the Lord comes before this child ever becomes the age of accountability, she's protected. You understand that? But once she comes to the point of knowledge and understanding, it's appointed unto her to accept Christ as her own personal Savior. We're going to pray that God sanctify this child, okay? Let's pray. Divine and righteous Heavenly Father, we come to you today thanking you, Father, for this child. We thank you, Father, for everything that you have brought this way, Lord. We know, God, that it's been a miracle, Father, that she's come through, not only, Father, through her health and her size, but, God, through all the opposition, Father, that Satan has tried his best and that's tried to destroy it. We pray, Father, that you would touch the life of this baby. We ask, God, that you would... Reach down, Lord, and, and sanctify her. And we dedicate her today unto you. We give her to you, Father, and that to be something glorified in this day. We pray, God, that she would be something to be glorified in this family. We ask, Father, that you would reach down, God, and touch this home, touch this lives of these children, Father. Father, that they would always be uh, reminded, God, that this child belongs to you. And Father, we pray today, God, that you would continue, Lord, and that to bring it into our remembrance, God, and that where we should always be steadfast and unmovable. Father, that we'd always be abounding in thy word, and that, Lord, we would do thy will, regardless what it seems like the world has got to throw at us, that, Father, we'd always be mindful, Father, and that to do what you would have us to do. We pray, God, for Carly. We ask Amen. God you give her protection. Yes. Send an angel down and that to protect our Father yes. and give her that comfort, Lord, and let her know, God, that we love her yes. and that we're concerned about yes. her life. Yes. Father, we thank you again for all that you do. Lead and guide and direct this family, Father. Lead and guide and direct this baby. Yes. And Father God, we'll give you praise and glory yes. for all things. Yes. And that her your precious arms we deliver. Yes. In the precious name of Christ we pray. Amen and amen. amen. I want to say what a blessing it is to know that this baby's in the hands of God. That's right. Satan cannot have this child. 